Teaching someone how to do something is important, but actually finding out if they can do that thing, that is critical. So there are lots of different ways to assess learning. Let me show you how to do it here in Trainual with your favorite thing you ever did in school, the test. Woo! Yeah, we've got tests in Trainual. Here we go. So on the bottom of my subject here, I'm going to click right here where it says enter topic title. And we're going to give this test a name. And by the way, we don't have to call it a test. We could call it a quiz or a knowledge check or I heard noggin buster once like, ooh, okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this a knowledge check just like this knowledge check and I might give it a specific uh, focus. So maybe this is a knowledge check on email etiquette. Okay, there we go. All right. Now I've got the title in there. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side and you're going to see the topic. I'm going to switch that to test. This is going to be a test. Okay. Now in just a few moments, I'm going to click the create button. We'll jump in and take a look at it. But before I do that, I want to highlight this. These tests can live anywhere before or after these topics. So could you put one at the beginning, have a pretest? Of course. Could you put one right after email etiquette? See what I just did there a few moments ago? Yep, I could definitely drag that up, pop it right there. Very easy, just drag and drop, reorganize it just like you do with the topics themselves, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. It's gonna pop us right into our test, just like this. And before I do anything else, I wanna show you something really cool in here. We've already talked about the magic wand, right? You'll see one at the top of this page, auto generate test. Yeah, that's going to use AI. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that again. You'll see that I can search for what? What am I searching for? I'm searching for the content inside of the subject. So you can see it's already listed out the topics that are in here. Maybe I want this test to just simply be about the email etiquette topic. So if I check the little box next to it, just like that, and click auto generate test, it's going to go to work. It's going to create me a 10 question quiz. That'll be all about that topic right there, okay? Now I will highlight that currently that is in beta, okay? So definitely check the questions that you get uh, pr produced for you. Uh, some of them may be spot on, a couple here and there may not be exactly accurate, but hey, if you've got seven questions that are perfect, that seven questions you didn't have to write, right? Yeah, super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel this right now. I won't actually auto-generate the test. Once you do that, it will pop you over to the, the subject edit screen. It'll do its thing, won't take too long, and then you'll be able to keep right on editing that test. So let's go ahead and hit cancel here. And here I've got my actual test. So I can certainly write and I can author my own questions. I can do that right down here. Couple things to note. First of all, on the right hand side, the different question types you can have. So this is a single select question, meaning that there's only one correct answer, but I can jump into here and you'll see there's multiple select, multiple correct answers, like multiple choice, right? That are correct. I can have a true or false question. I can have a written response question. It's kind of like a, a text box that someone can type into. And I've got a video response. This is really cool. This means that someone could use the Loom integration with Trainer to literally record a response back to you. This is awesome for maybe scenario-based questions like, hey, what would you do in this scenario? They record a video, this is what I would do. And they could upload that to the question as the response. Perfect stuff there, okay? All right, those are the different question types. I'm gonna pop over here to the options. I wanna talk through these a little bit. So first of all, the email results. Who do you want to receive the emails with the results for this test, okay? I can select that uh, person there, that's me. I can select from anyone in the list, any, any user in the program, okay? Down below, I can set the order of the questions. So these can be in a set order, or they can be in randomized order, which is pretty nice. Down here, I've got number of questions displayed. This is like I can create a bank of questions. I could write 25 questions for this test, but I could only have it show maybe 10 at a time. That way, if someone doesn't pass that test the first time, they'll get the test again, and next time they'll probably get a few different questions because it's gonna pull from that pool of questions you created, okay? Lastly here, we've got the passing score. I'm going to give you a little pro tip here. You'll see the default here is 80%, okay? That means that someone hit, needs to hit 80% in order to pass this test. If they don't hit that 80%, they'll get reassigned that test again, and they'll have to do that until they hit the 80%. Here is the pro tip, okay? Your team members get unlimited attempts to achieve this passing score. 
So if they get unlimited tries, bump that up to 100% and that's going to let you know, did they master this content? The nice thing is, is they don't pass it the first time or maybe the second time or third time, you're getting notified every single time. And that, how many times it takes them to get to that 100% can be really enlightening. That may help you to understand, are they getting this? Do I need to reach out to them directly and work with them? Good, good stuff there, okay? So having a passing score of 100%, solid idea, there's a pro tip, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and I wanna highlight one other thing we can do in here. Of course, we can add our question prompts right there, okay? I can type that in. I want to highlight this. There's the insert button. What does the insert button do? It allows me to put things like videos and photos and other multimedia in here. You can make your test questions every bit as exciting and dynamic as the content you're creating in the topics. Cool stuff there. There you go. Now you can have as many test questions as you want. We'll typically recommend five to 10 max per test. Tends to be a good amount, good little chunked amount, but there you go. There are tests in Trainual. Check those out intersperse those in your topics. Make sure that you are assessing whether your people can do the things you've taught them how to do. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Now, if you really want to master Trainual, check out Trainual University in the link below.